Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to P3TE, where we pause, play, and prosper. I am your host, Jackie Schwab, and today we're continuing on the theme that we started with on Monday, um, the idea that judgment is a condition of inflammation in our heads or in our psyche. And so I wanted to kind of um, continue along in that theme and talk about um, how to heal, right? So we can't heal what's wrong with us from a place of judgment. Um, if we consider judgment a disease state or a process or a disorder. And if you look at other ways to like reduce physical inflammation, um, the inflammation that's just in your body, you can correct the thing, right? You can correct the problem that's either causing the pain or you can work to control it. For example, if you have inflammation due to arthritis, maybe you take a medication that helps you control it. Um, or you can slow down and allow yourself time and space to, to get better, to heal. Um, in some cases, if you're, again, in the physical body side, you can take medications. Um, you can avoid things that might cause you um, actual pain, avoid activities that are hurtful. And so what I wanted to talk about is if, if you're having, if you're hurting, right? If you're hurting in, in the head side or you are out there judging others because of maybe something that we don't like about them or that we see in them that, you know, we see in ourselves, then how do we get away from being judgmental or how do we get away from that place and start the process of healing? And so I'm actually going to suggest um, we embrace the pace of slowing down. If you think about our world, we have been able to now communicate at the speed of send, right? Everything has gotten so fast and so complex and there's stressors just in our everyday life that are potentially reasons for increasing our stress. Um, even just getting to the store and driving through all the noise and all the sensations. And um, it's, it's difficult to do personal development if you are, you're in a place of inflammation. So today I would like to suggest that you consider one way that you can go to a place of healing um, if you can't move there through curiosity, which is sort of what we talked about yesterday, then consider doing it by slowing down and just allowing yourself the space to be aware of what you are judging yourself of and what you're judging others of. And when you do that, when you slow down and you allow yourself that time, um, consider journaling about what it is that uh, you're judging others or yourself on and why you might be doing that. And um, if we got really lucky, reframe it into a place of curiosity. But if nothing else, just slow down, uh, slow the pace a little bit, um, maybe send less emails or be on the TV a little less, but slow down and allow yourself time for the inflammation to go down so that you can get to be in a place where you can make better decisions. Uh, you can um, see things more logically and not necessarily only from this feeling place. Not that um, both places are important, but uh, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, trying to find a way to heal the things that are hurting inside of you is very difficult if you're in a place where you're often judging others or you're judging yourself. So um, if you can't correct or control it just yet, maybe slow down and allow yourself space to heal. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear how you can slow down and allow yourself some space. And we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time at P3TV. Bye.